First of all, uh, yeah, we want to go to uh, the heart of the core of the holiday season here. And for happy holidays uh, next week um, for Christians and Jewish people and people who celebrate Kwanzaa and other. Um, and I have to say that, you know, it's a good time for us, for all religious to come together and celebrate together as all religions um, end up in one way of peace. And I have to say it is, you know, stay united with other um, people uh, from um, other religions here. But today we're going to be talking about the, um, we thought about the Ukrainians who are going through a tough time for this holiday season. Some people had to cancel their annual things is because of the um, rockets flying in the air. And, um, but I have to say that we are with the Ukrainians, um, during this tough time of the holiday season. Um, and we want to let you know that we are on your, that we are on your side, uh, on giving you support for you to defend your country. And let me say one thing. I have to say that you've done an outstanding job defending your country against um, this evil person um, who waged this senseless, illegal, unjust war on your country. Um, believing that your country is a so-called threat where you're actually not a threat to anyone. And we actually have to know one thing. Vladimir Putin's ultimate goal is to erase Ukraine off the map. We wish that this war would end by the end of the year, but I have to say it just looks likely unlikely, um, or it looks unlikely that this would be the case that the end war would end. For one thing, there's just too much evil in Putin. NATO has done everything possible to Russia to avert this war. Um, but unfortunately, Putin just chose the first path to go to war with Ukraine. This wasn't the first time that um, Russia was waged war before. This happened in 2014 when Russia took Crimea away. And this wasn't the first time Russia has bullied a neighbor. Russia has bullied Georgia back in 2009. I think we need to come together now. We will have to be able to gather up our support for Ukraine. We're going to be intensifying our um, training for Ukrainians so they'll have a better um, grip to, to the, um, defending um, the country. There are some speculations that Russia will try to take Kyiv again. I think that might be a grave mistake on Russia because he's not, that he's learned. Um, I think the takeover, the, the attempt to take over of Kyiv only um, had done two things against Russia. He has he has unified NATO and NATO's allies, and plus um, he has um, put Ukraine into a knowledge, and now Ukraine is now better prepared. In case if um, Russia try uh, attempts to take Kyiv again, um, but Russia, but Vladimir Putin uh, has to know one thing: if he wants to, uh, there are some people who says the longer Putin wages the war in Ukraine, um, the sooner he will perish or whatever it is here. But you know one thing. Putin wants to save his life, shows the world he's a peaceful man, he should end this war today. He must know that Ukraine was never a threat to anyone. NATO was never a threat to anyone. Because NATO is simply a defensive alliance that any country of its choice can apply for NATO and then um, ratify the NATO by uh, meeting its obligation, me meeting its uh, requirements, whatever it is here. That's how NATO, you know, adds to the country. Country applies. 
by choice to uh, become part of the alliance that would, you know, um, it's a defensive alliance and it's not meant to wage war on anyone. But that's what this Putin's um, view is, is that a growth of NATO is a threat. I don't think it's a threat to anyone. Maybe Putin can, you know, have more knowledge to maybe join NATO that would ultimately end the war. But, you know, unfortunately, there's just too much evil in Vladimir Putin. We still have the windows open for Putin, for him, to willing to end the war and, you know, um, resolve their differences to Ukraine. The war, uh, but, you know, the door is, will, is always open for him. We're going to keep the door open. There's, ultim there's just, you know, um, of the time. He can just go on the right path today or tomorrow. Stop the war. Resolve their differences to Ukraine, and there will be peace. And they must have, and they must have this. And uh, we could trade security um, we could be able to trade the security assurances that to never invade, which is a no brainer because Ukraine was never a threat to in the first place to attack Russia. Um, and in turn. Russia would, you know, um, not go to war with Ukraine again. But, you know what? There's so much evil in him, he might just make a false claim that Ukraine is a threat again to Nazism again and just go into war. That's how it started. Tried to take Kyiv, failed to do so, and now he's failing on the southern front. And the answer is, why is he... All of a sudden, putting 200,000 troops into um, Ukraine again um, to escalate the war. I think it's time for Ukraine. Uh, I think it's time for Russia. I think it's time for Russia to end this war. And. Um, but I have serious doubts because, you know what, um, negotiations at this point would, wouldn't probably make any sense um, that if Russia just, you know, kind of follows through and goes back to war, what's negotiations going to do? So in the meantime, we're going to support Ukraine from artillery weapons and whatever Ukraine wants. We must keep up the pressure on Putin um, to end the war. And what? And if uh, Putin's unwilling to do it, we could do our steps to contain Putin. And um, to continue the train, and, and we will continue to train Ukrainian soldiers so they'll be able to have better position to defending their country. Which I have to say, they've done a fabulous job of doing so. And um, we also want... and. and um, that's what our position is today. So we want to say happy holidays to all, including Ukrainians who are choosing to um, celebrate the holiday and the background of uh, missiles firing. Um, and we would hopefully, we would just say hold on to hope this war will end um, by January 1st. So Ukraine can wake up in peace. Start the new year in peace. And um, we will make sure that if Russia does indeed stop the war, we'll make sure he doesn't start again. And demonstrate to Putin that, you know, this is not, a, this is, you know, Well, I mean, um, and also we're going to have to um, once again say to Russian citizens, you're not our enemy. And I have to say to everyone here in other other country, support its Russian citizens here in the United States and, you know, some Russians living in um, Europe as well. 
um, support the businesses. And um, also supporting Ukraine by, you know, going online, purchasing something made in Ukraine um, to bring home. Whether it be a Christmas ornament or maybe a snack box or whatever. To show that, to show our support of Ukraine. Um, and um, so anyway, God bless the people of Ukraine. God bless the Russian citizens who condemn this war. And we want to say the happy holidays to all. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's. And yeah.